All right, hold on, guys. I'm bringing my little health shake out here. My, I think my wife thinks I'm getting fat being on, <laughs> working at home. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, you know, it's gonna be kind of a little bit of a long video here, but uh, let's go through this. You know, um, you remember the days where uh, you know you're a kid. I mean, you maybe in your forties, like I am, uh, late thirties, whatever, and. Uh, Man, you remember going down and seeing in the summertime or fall or something, you'd go down and you'd see E.T. or Jaws or Star Wars or something cool, you know, something that uh, was just really imaginative, good movies. You know, I understand all of the uh, Kramer versus Kramer crap, and that was fine and dandy whenever we started liberalizing uh, uh, marriage. <laughs> um, and look what happens when we liberalize marriage laws. <clears throat> yeah, divorce rates fly through the roof. Um, you know, but I'll tell you this, uh, the one thing that I really, really remember growing up, um, was just, you know, it was, it was camping, it was camping and, you know, I didn't have the best childhood. I really, really didn't, you know, and even when my family members see this, they're going to be like, oh man, me bringing it up. <laughs> no, I didn't, man. You know, my, my, my house was full of booze and liquor and, and drugs and stuff like that. Eventually, my, you know, my father got clean and sober and he's just a wonderful dad today. Great, great Christian guy and just really awesome. And, you know, life has worked out, you know. I mean, you know, uh, uh, for those who are patient and seek God's grace, that's what happens. Uh, but today, you know, it just seems like, you know, I look around me and, and I see everything from Occupy Wall Street to... Um, uh, unions <laughs> freaking out about crap and uh, and then I see people like George Clooney <laughs> in Hollywood this is the when did Hollywood become a uh, political party uh, that's what I want to know um, you know uh, here's the here's the George um, when you were um, selling forty thousand dollar plates of food at your bungalow, um, you know, were you taking food stamps? Just what? Just asking. It's an honest question. Just asking. You know what I suggest, guys, this summer, and, and I am. I'm going to challenge you to this. And, and and who am I? I'm nobody. I'm just a dad who works at home and I'm enjoying life. And and uh, that's really it. I'm nobody special, but I'm special to a few people, and so are you. And so this is my challenge to you. You know what, this summer, let, let's skip the Hollywood movies. Let's skip the silver screen and give it up for a little bit of silver starlights and camping with our family and our kids. How's that sound? You know, um, when I was growing up, the economy was, was, was rough. It was, through the 70s and early part of the 80s until we got a good Republican in there to care of that crap. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of rough. I remember it being really rough for us, you know, and, and some of it had to do with the situation of drugs and alcohol being in the prevalent in the home and everything else. But the thing is, is that there were good times as well. There was. And even though the economy was tight back then, you know, what my, family, my mom and dad did uh, a few times is we actually um, would, uh, instead of paying rent in the tiny little town that we lived in, it's actually a pretty popular town in, in the country. Uh, it's very expensive to live there. Uh, but to uh, get, you know, kind of save up some money for the fall and the winter when my dad's working at the lumber mills here in the Pacific Northwest, um, uh, we would actually go camping. We would. We'd live at a campsite for a whole summer. It, it, it was cheap. I mean, it was like, you know, you know, five bucks a day or something like that, you know, and, and it was a whole lot cheaper. I mean, he, he could take, you know, 20% of one of his paychecks and pay our rent up at our camp spot for the month. Um, and so we'd be able to save up a lot of money during the summer whenever he got back to work or started working more. And uh, I'll tell you what, I, I, you know, I, I learned a lot about independence through that, that whole, that whole thing. I learned a lot about independence. You know, I wake up in the morning, go take my own shower, go get ready, go start fishing early in the morning to catch dinner. Uh, if I didn't catch dinner, of course, we had hot dogs and <laughs> we even had Top Ramen up there with the pot. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, you know, but, you know, when it, when, it, when the fishing was slow around noonish or one or two in the afternoon, it was just too hot to fish, you know, I went exploring and I just walked around and I'd be around there up in the mountain lakes with my brother and my sister and, and while my dad was working, my mom would be there at the camp trying to get rid of bugs and everything else. You know, I learned a lot about being independent, but I also learned a lot about being dependent upon those I loved. 
um, and growing closer. You know, today, me and my family, uh, some of us, we actually, we, we, very, we differ very on political issues. We differ very, you know, a lot on, on certain aspects of faith and religion and everything else. But the thing is, is that we are never, ever weary on um, is, is how we love each other. And, you know, the memories that we have of staring up at starry nights from, a, you know, next to a fire, a <laughs> campfire, you know, eating s'mores and roasting marshmallows and everything else. It sure beats sitting in a movie theater during the summertime, especially whenever we have uh, such a, let me, uh, let me turn this phone off real quick. Whenever we have such a, a, a political, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> such as Hollywood. I mean, today, instead of strengthening marriage and strengthening family, they want to redefine it. You know, instead of uh, uh, really getting out there and, and, and helping people, um, they're hypocrites because they don't, charge, they don't take food stamps to buy that $40,000 plate of food. They don't do any of that junk. They're a bunch of liars. <laughs> you lie. Hollywood lie. And the thing is, is that, you know, I don't need you to redefine anything. I like my memories the way they are. I do. I enjoy them. I love the good times and the bad times. Everything can't be perfect in this world. It was meant to be, but it's not. And now it's not for a reason. <laughs> it's just not. But I remember the good times and I remember the bad times and I've learned from them all. And the thing is, the one thing that I have learned is that I spend more time with my children. I spend less time in a stupid movie theater watching a stupid movie where somebody just made $40 million to make the stupid movie. One person. And what do they do with that? Well, they go out and say, tax the rich, tax the rich. But then they jump over to France, and all of a sudden they figure out they're getting taxed 75%. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden you're a hypocrite and a liar. You don't even believe in what you keep talking about. What you keep promoting. This is where we're spending our money. <laughs> the little money that you have when you could be out fishing and camping with your kid. With your wife. With grandma and grandpa. It's my challenge to you. Wake the heck up. Quit giving these people, these idiots, our money. I'm over it. Matter of fact, I'll probably never go to a theater again. Matter of fact, I probably won't even rent any movies again. I'll just watch the news and watch some Survivor Man on TV. <laughs> Actually, I like the Les Stroud one. Survivor, yeah, Survivor Man. I, I like that one. That one's my favorite. Maybe some Finding Bigfoot. But here's the thing. Instead of going out and watching those movies this summer, those hot Hollywood blockbusters, um, why don't you guys grab a little camera like this little flip right here, or a little bloggy or something. Go out and make some, make some movies of your own. Make some movies of your own. Make some memories of your own. How's that for a challenge? Anyways, I know that most people out here are not going to see this. They're probably not going to do it. <laughs> but at least I said it. Anyways, no matter what, guys, God bless. Go camping. Have some fun with your family this summer.